Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you loan repayments. Of course, there is a PDF version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. We know the car worth $20,000 and she make a deposit of $5,000. So therefore, Lily only borrow the difference between $20,000 and $5,000. So therefore, we just go $20,000 with minus $5,000. So that should give me $15,000. That is how much Lily owe the dealership. Okay, keep that in mind. Then part B, we need to work out the monthly repayment. For the monthly repayment, first of all, we know that the interest is 18% per annum, per year. But then because she made monthly repayment, so we need to divide 18% into 12. So let me just move this up. So this is R is equal to 18% per year. We divide by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So 18 divided by 12. So let me just work it out. 18 over 12. So if I divide by 6 on both sides, give me 3. That give me 2. So 1.5%. Otherwise, you can just use calculator work it out. And for the first two months, there is no repayment. Okay, so for four years. So let me just write this down. The number of months for four years is 12 months in a year. We time by 4. So that is equal to 48. And remember, Lily doesn't make any payment for first two months, okay? So what we do, we need to work out how much she owe at the end of each month. So at the end of first month, so let's say A1 is equal to the amount she borrow, that is $15,000. And we times by, we you compound interest, A equal P, let me just write down here. A is P, 1 plus R power of N, but R is the interest rate, that is, so that means 1.5 over 100. Okay, power of N, and we work out each month, so power of 1. So let me just write this down here, so P equal, so just quickly put on the calculator, 1 plus 1.5 over 100. So 1.015, so 1.015 power of 1. So there you go. So, but P is $15,000. Okay. So let me just write on here. So we times by 1.015 part one. So we just write like that. But then because she doesn't make any repayment for first month. So therefore this is how much she owe at the end of first month. So at the end of second month, this is how much she owe at the end of first month. And at the end of second month, she need to pay interest on top of that, even though she doesn't make any repayment. Okay interest still apply then we add the interest on top so we time by 1.05 but then we know that a1 is this so let me just replace with that so equal fifteen thousand dollars we times 1.015 that is a1 then we need to time that on top so that should give me time by 1.015 so that should give me 0, 0.15 square instead. Okay, so let me just clear this. That is how much you owe at the end of second month. But then at the end of third month, she will owe A2. That's how much you owe at the end of second month. And she need to pay interest on top of that. So that is how much she owe. But then at the end of third month, she start pay back the loan. So we start with M because you don't know how much you pay every month okay so the regular payment of M but then we know that A2 is this so let me just replace with that that is equal to 15,000 times 1.015 that is square and then we times 1.015 so that is A2 times 1.015 per 5 and then we minus M. So let me just simplify this. So this is exactly the same as 15,000 times 1.015 power of 3 
minus m. But then at the end of fourth month, a4, that is equal to a3 times 1.015 with minus m. Because you start paying an m amount at the end of each month, start from third month, okay? So that will give me, so this is a3 and then we times that, okay? So that should give me 1, 5, 0, 0, 0 times 1.015 plus 3 minus m. And then we times by 1.015. And then we need to minus m there, okay? This m here, we just write this down, that's all. So now let me just expand the brackets. So that will give me 1, 5, 1, 2, 3. We times it together, give me power 4. And this time together, give me m times 1.015, and then we minus m. Now, at the end of fifth month, a5, so she owed at the end of fourth month, that's how much she owed, and she have to pay interest on top of that, so we time by 1.015. And then she also make a regular payment of m. So that's how much you owe at the end of fifth month. But then at the end of fourth month, that's how much you owe. This A4. So let me just replace with that. So 1, 5. Then we times 1.015. And then we minus that M there. So let me just simplify this by expanding the brackets so this time together so it should give me power 5 so that is equal to and this time that give me square and this time that becomes m times 1.015 and minus m so there you go let me just Take out the negative M out for this series here. So that will give me. And we'll take negative M out. So that should give me this positive 1.015 square. And we take negative M out for this. So left with plus 1 1.015. And then we take this m out, negative m, so that means divide by negative m. Negative m divided by negative m is 1, so that means plus 1. So there you go. So let me just rewrite the series in ascending order. So that is equal to... So now we need to find a of 48, because it's at the end of... 48 months. So A 48 is equal to, now this is A 5, so please take note on this. If it's 5, this is power 5. So we A 48, so it should be 1.05 power of 48. Okay, keep that in mind. So let me just try this. Minus M, we times 1 plus 1.015. We add 1.015 square plus, and we plus. And because of A5, will give me power of 2. Okay, so therefore the difference is 3. And so therefore 48, so go 48 minus 3 is 45. So all the way to 1.015 power of 45 and even though it's 45 but this is 46 terms because we start from 1 means 1.015 power of 0 if you like so from 0 to 45 means 46 terms so keep that in mind because 48 months but then the first two months Lily didn't make any repayments so she, she only made 48 payments if you like so now I just add the series together so this one here, S of N is equal to A, R power of N minus 1 over R minus 1.
but a is one. So let me just write this down as well. R is 1.015 power of n, that is 46 and minus 1 over 1.015 with minus 1 equal. So I just put on a calculator. So I just go fractions. We ignore the 1. So 1.015 power of 46 and then we minus 1. And we go down 1.015 we minus 1. So there you go. 65.57. I just round up to two decimal places we do. I'm gonna use the full amount later on. Okay, so it's stored in calculator for me anyway. So 65.57. So equal 65.57. So A. 48 is equal to so m times this series here and that is equal to 65.57 so that is 65.57 times m so there you go but then, but then we know that after 48 months lily will pay off the loan so that means 848 is equal to zero. So this means that so now what I do I just move this on that size so that will give me one five is equal to sixty five point fifty seven M. So now I just divided by 65.57 on both sides. So get rid of this. And I do the same thing on this size, of course. That cancel out. So therefore, M is equal to, so I just put on a calculator. So I just go 15, 1, 2, 3 times 1.015 power of 48 and we divide by the answer so there you go 467 dollars and 48 cents so that is equal to 467 dollars and 48 cents so that is her monthly repayment let me just write this down four hundred sixty seven dollars and forty eight cents so there you go now how much interest does lily pay over the term of the loan so first of all we just need to work out how much we pay all together and then we minus the amount of money that she borrowed okay so the amount of money she pay all together is four hundred and sixty seven dollars and forty eight cents that is how much she pay at the end of each month and she made 46 payments so time by 46 and then that's how much she pay and minus the amount of money that she borrowed that she only borrowed fifteen thousand dollars so that will give me so I just put on a calculator so I just go answer times 46 payments and then we minus fifteen thousand dollars so there you go, $6,504.26. So $6,504.26. So there you go, I hope you got it correct and thank you so much for watching. Bye.